Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. And, um, I want to talk about, um, Damian Lillard. We're going to talk about this situation. Well, we all know that, um, Damian Lillard signed a two year extension with the Portland Trailblazers worth a hundred and twenty two million dollars. And, you know, he made some remarks about um about Brown that I really didn't care for. First of all, bro, this been going on for a while that you've been making all these slick comments, you've been talking real greasy about Brown. And I'ma say this. I'm not the biggest Brian fan of of all, but I just feel like that I think those comments, every time I turn around, you keep talking about, well, LeBron stacked the deck and KD stacked the deck and all of this. Look, bro, I don't like I don't like you know indirect disses. If you got something to say about the man, won't you just come out and say it instead of Doing all the Jay Z approach, where you want to throw, um, you want to throw sneak disses and all this, man. Instead of be you being very indirect. And before I get started, I'm just gonna say this, man. Why, why, why you? I mean, why you? You mad? You mad, bro? Are you mad, Dan? Because. Far as far as I know, that you you've been you're nothing, you're nothing but a playoff crash dummy. Every time you get to the playoffs, you get swept. All jokes, Steph swept you three times. Or you you're going in five games. You mad? You mad? And I'm going to tell you the truth. Only real reason why you signed that contract. Because you know ain't nobody else stupid like Portland to, to pay a 32-year-old point guard um, a point guard that stay injured, a point guard that's getting older, $122 million for two years. They were dumb. Another thing I want to talk about, you know Portland is not going anywhere. And one minute, you know, you're just very double, you're very double-minded, and you're very, you're a hypocrite, because one minute, you go, I remember last year, you was crying on Instagram about how bad it is in Portland, yet you signed a contract extension. You know Portland, bro, Portland ain't going nowhere, you're not winning anything with Portland. They are, they are, they're rebuilding. You're 32 years old. You'll be 32 years old next month to be accurate. You know they're not going nowhere. But you still, but you signed the contract. And then what kills me about, about this, right? About, about people. And I'm going to get back to Dame in a second. But what killed me about when we talk about Brian, and I just thought about this yesterday, that it was no way in hell LeBron James was going to win with <laughs> Daniel Booby Gibson, Mo Williams, Andy Virgil, Anthony Parker, Il Goskas, and a 38-year-old Retirement knocking on the door, Shaquille O'Neal. It just wasn't going to happen. They wasn't going, he wasn't going to beat Boston. So he was forced to leave a team that had no future. Bron had to leave. So what are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? Because you're a crash dummy. You know, you don't have to keep making those those sneak disses because I, I thought I thought oh I thought people that's from Oakland you know shout out to Oakland people out there in West Oakland East Oakland 
you make the Bay Area look soft, man. That's a soft move that you keep you keep dissing this man. And the crazy thing about it is that I understand you want to get out the mud. I get it. But let's be realistic. You know there's no future. Portland is not winning anything. Portland, why are you loyal to, to a team that gave you that gave you no help? But you want to keep crying, I'm loyal. You don't owe Portland nothing. If I were you, I wouldn't even have signed that contract. I'd have went to another team that, that that gave me a chance to win a championship. But you didn't want you didn't want to do that because you're playing it safe. Because you really don't want to win. You're comfortable with losing. Because if you were tired of losing, you would have got up off your behind and went to another team. And nobody's gonna look at you like a ring like a ring chaser. You need to swallow your pride and realize that it's over. That it's over in Portland. It's over, man. It's over. It's been over for a long time. You gonna just be a you? Gonna, are they gonna make the playoffs? Portland is not trying to to win. They trying to rebuild. But yeah, every time I turn around, you keep crying on Instagram about Portland. You the you the same guy who says you want to be traded, but then the next minute. You say you love Portland. I mean, make your mind up, bro. Because they're not going anywhere. Even with Gary Payton the second, That's not enough. That's not enough. You need more help than Gary Payton the second. And Jeremy Grant. That's not enough. But you're always talking slick. You keep talking about Brian. Why are you worrying about Brian for? Because Brian did what he had to do. He realized in Cleveland that now the other the other moves he made was questionable. But the one when he went to Cleveland, when he went to Miami, I give him a pass on that one. Because that team was that team was horrible, man. They were horrible. Dan Gilbert gave that man no help. It's all you do, man. You keep making all these sneak, you keep dissing, sneak dissing. Now, KD, I kind of understand that because he did join the team that beat him. I get that fair is fair. But see, Braun went to Miami to build a champion. KD went to a team that was already a champion, that was already, that already won 73 games in a team that beat him. See, that's a total, that's a total different conversation. So why do you keep why do you keep sneak this in LeBron James? Why? Why do you keep doing that? But you stand on a team you know ain't going nowhere. A team who really betrayed you, a team that gave you no help. You only had because I looked at the Draymond Green podcast, and you had only one all-star with Lamarcus Aldridge. Outside of that, you never played with an all-star. They're, they're rebuilding. They even traded away C.J. McCollum. And C.J. McCollum shined in New Orleans. Talk to me, man. Don't do that. Don't, 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 you don't have to keep sneak dissing. Because that's not cool. Real men don't do that. Why? Because you better... Cause you want to stay on a team that's 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 never gonna win anything, and I, I kind of feel sorry for you because they gave you no help to work with. But at the end of the day, you chose to stay there. But the sad part about it is that you planned it safe too, because you know ain't nobody at thirty-two year two two years old gonna give you that kind of money. A guard that that jacks up shots, a guard that's that 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 has bad that that turn the ball over, because you make for a point guard you make horrible decisions for years. You don't play defense. 
Nobody's going to give you that kind of money but Portland. And you knew it. That's why you took that contract extension. But the sad part about it is that you playing it safe. Because you know in Portland, there's no pressure. But if you go somewhere else, pressure comes. And I think that's why you stay in Portland. Because you're scared. You're scared. You're a scared little boy, Damon. Damon Lillard. Damon Lillard. And you're my favorite player. You, Steph, and Giannis are my favorite three players in the NBA. I love you, Dane. But you know Portland is not going to win anything. You know that. You know they're not winning anything anytime soon. They're rebuilding, which they should. I think the move makes no sense at all. I'm Portland. What the hell do I want with a 32-year-old point guard? And I'm going to tell you, let's have some story time, too. Your situation kind of reminds me of Clyde Drexler. You know, another Portland great who went to two NBA Finals, you know, 1990 and 92, which they lost to the Pistons and the Bulls. Lost to the Pistons in five games and lost to Chicago in six. And... Let's look at Clyde Drexler's career. Clyde Drexler was 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 that was 32 years old. This is 1994-95 season. He's 32 years old. He's getting older. He wanted a chance at a ring. And but one thing I loved about Portland is that they traded him to the Houston Rockets. I loved them for that. I, I loved them for that. That beat the team. They traded him to the team that beat them in the playoffs. Because <laughs> I remember what, 94, they lost in the first round. <laughs> they lost in the first round. Houston had beat the Portland Trailblazers in the first round in 1994. I remember that. And <laughs> anyway, let me get on with the story. Clyde Drexler's 32 years old. He wants a ring. So they say, you know what? They traded him, Portland traded him to the Houston Rockets. And it was a great, was a, I think that's a great story because he's, because Clyde Drexler is from Houston. So they traded him to the Houston Rockets. And you know, Houston Rockets beat the Utah Jazz. They beat the the, um, the Phoenix Suns in seven. They beat the Spurs in six. And they sweep the Magic and win the NBA title in 1995. And Clyde Drexler gets his first ring. His one and only ring. But nobody looks at Clyde Drexler being, being weak. Because he knew that Portland wasn't going to win anything. So if you went, my point of this story, the Clyde Drexler story, is the fact that nobody's going to look at you as weak if you go to another team. And I think, Dame, you need to swallow your pride and realize they're not going anywhere, man. And come on, man. You and Bradley Bill, y'all want to talk about we want to get out the mud. You know no way in, y'all know no way in hell that the Wizards and the Blazers are two of the worst teams in the NBA. Y'all know y'all not going nowhere. You just wanted the money. Because if you really wanted to win, you wouldn't have signed that contract extension. So stop it, Dame. Stop it. So stop crying about other players who win rings. It's, it's, not, it's your fault. Because if you see it's not working, why well, keep staying there? You know it's not working. So why I keep crying about it if you're going to keep staying there? Because you know they're not going to win. They're one of the worst teams in the NBA. They gave you no help, but you chose to stay there. So stop crying about it, Dane. That's all I got to say. That's it. Deuces.